Okay, let's say you're in Blender and you are making a model and now you want to add a foot, but the foot, you know, you just wanted to model it as a separate object and then connect the two objects. So what I'm here is in object mode and I'm just going to add another mesh, a cube, and I'm going to turn this cube into a foot and then I'm going to connect it to the rest of the mesh. So first things first, let me, let me turn on screencast keys. Okay, and now I'm going to press S and just scale this down a little bit more to the size of a foot. Let me kind of position it here. And, um, you know, this tutorial is about the connection part, not really about the making of a foot. But let's try to make a foot. So let me just loop cut that. And let me see how many cuts I need. So this has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight sides. So now this, I'll, I'll make it have eight, eight sides too, for they connect up so they match up face to face, you know. Now the shape, I'll start turning it into um, what I want, a foot. So let's just say that we take this here and, all right, maybe I'll add another loop cut here, bam. And then I'll drag out like a foot part from these two bottom faces, go back to face mode and clickety click. Okay, now I'll extrude out something. <laughs> uh, okay, let's say like that and Shoot out some toes, scale to make something different. We have a really bad looking foot. <laughs> Go to this mode here, and let me just pick the four corners and try to do something with scale to make it more round shaped. And then the same thing with the bottom here. Shift. And just scale to make it more round shaped. All right, so then I now I'll have like a foot. Say that's a foot. Let's say that that is a foot. All right, so now I want to connect it up to this mesh that's there. So let's go into, well, let's stay in edit mode because when I do connect these faces here, I don't want them to be there anymore. They're going to be on the inside. So let me just select the faces here, three and four, and then press X to delete the faces. All right, so it's like a hole. And then over here, one, oh, I'm going to have to go to object mode and pick this object and then go to edit and then pick one oopsie one two three four and delete faces all right now is the part where i'm going to connect so let's go back to object mode so first thing i'll do is i'll make sure that everything's positioned where i want it to be okay then i will select this object and shift select the second and then i'll join them object join where are you right there? Control J. And I think I lost my selection. Object join. Okay, they became one object. You can see the shade of orange is the same now. And I'm going to go to edit mode now that this is my one object. And I'll start joining faces. So let me pick edges here. So this edge and this edge. And then I'll say new face from edges. Bam. This edge and this edge. New face from edges, and this is the part that is the tutorial right here. New face from edge, and this edge and this edge. New face from edge, and I guess I could do them all together. Let's see if I could do two of them at a time. Yeah, and the last one's right here. Bam, so now I've added a, oh, when I did it together, look, they came out like one, so let me just undo control Z for all that and I'll just keep doing it like I did it. Edge, edge, and new face from edge. Edge, and select the edge, and edge, and new face from edge is F, okay? Edge, edge, and I can press F. Edge, edge, and press F. Alright, so now I have that there. And if I want, I guess I could add a loop cut if I wanted to. All right, now let's see what we got. Now we have half of this person. Now I'm gonna add the modifier mirror, which should make it into a whole person. Whoa, and that didn't work. Or it does, but I just have to play around with stuff here. Let's see. I think what I have to do is set that the, um, the origin is not there. See that orange dot, that's the origin. So let me undo the modifier. See, because when I pick this object now, this, this object, where is the origin? I want it to be there on the cursor, 
the cursor is right there in the center, which is, let's look at it straight on. Right there is a center, and it looks like it's right there instead. So what I want it to be is right here, center. So let's just have the mesh selected, and then set origin to the cursor. Boom, so now the orange dot is there. And now I could say mirror, and I get, you know, the person. Okay, and another modifier I could add. Right now, I have very low verts, and that's great. I could leave it like this. Let's see how it looks if it smooths out. Very smooth, looks very smooth. All right, so that's my mesh. Um, now I could export it and use it in something else, but that's how I added the feet on. And basically I did that with the hands. I should have shown you with the hands. That's really where you need, you know, where it could come in handy. Or if I did a head, connecting the head like that would be good too. So there. Wow, you made it to the end of the video. I'm so proud of you. Maybe you want to see more videos and maybe you want to check out my website, omarvision.com, where in the tutorial section, it's a collection of all the videos I've ever made. And these blue links are the actual projects and the orange links under the videos are the actual assets that are used in the videos. And if you want, you could also search here, much easier for things. If you're looking for something, you type in a word and press search and it will reduce the videos that show anything about what you just typed in. Hey, drop me a like, drop me a subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye.